So let's jump over to Photoshop. If we look at the layers panel in Photoshop, we have a series of layer groups, which we learned about in the lesson six. So we have the students design layer group, the elements layer group, containers, and backgrounds. The layers are turned off or on depending on the layer that you're looking at. What I would like you to do is to turn all the layers off except for your backgrounds, and then you can click through the backgrounds to figure out which background you would like to use for your project. Do you want to use background 5, which is grass, background 4, 3, 2, or 1? Choose the background you would like to use and then drag it and drop it until it falls into, let me open student design group, until it falls into the student's design folder. Once you've chosen your background, you can turn the background layers off. We can collapse the background group folder and expand the containers. And we can do the same thing. We can take a look at the containers. There's bowl, there's a goblet, a box, some sort of serving dish, and another bowl. And so you need to choose the, the container you would like to use. If you do not want to use the eraser tool to modify your fruit, you might want to choose this bowl here or this bowl here because you can't see unwanted backgrounds. So if we look at the goblet, we're going to have to erase, whoops, we're going to have to erase this portion. I didn't know what um, tool I had selected. We're going to have to erase this portion of the bowl. Okay. If you are not at a stage where you're comfortable with that, choose container one or container two because you will not have to do erasing with those containers. I will choose the box so that I can show you how to erase parts of your fruit and or your box when needed. Once you choose your container, drag it and drop it until it lands inside the student's design group, collapse your containers group, and turn the eyeball off. The last thing you need to do is expand and turn the eyeball on on your elements or your fruit or your still life uh, grouping and then you can click through and decide which shapes you would like to use and so once you find one that you think you want to use for your project I used apples in the example so I will find the apples and use them I'm gonna click through so you can see all of them when you find something that you want to use drag it and drop it into the student design grouping. Error on dragging and dropping more than you think you need because you can always get rid of them. And then collapse your elements group and turn your eyeball off. When you're done, you should have a background, a container, and at least five different elements to place in. Now I only have four but I plan to duplicate so I will end up with at least five. Make sure you get to this stage and then we'll continue with this skills practice in the next video.